Now, there's a lot of people out there who say that, like, oh, this is not my version of Prowl. I don't really like this Prowl. Well, you know what I say to that? Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime back for another Transformers action figure video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Animated Universe Prowl from Legacy Evolution. So yes, let's just get right on into the review by taking a look at the packaging. And now taking a look at the packaging here, we got an image right there of Prowl in his motorcycle mode. It's got Animated Universe Prowl right there, Legacy Evolution. Got a nice image right there of Prowl in on his face and his robot mode. It says Transformers right on the side here. Got all this right there. And then here we've got the uh, barcode right there. And when you take a look at the barcode, takes you to Hasbro, shows you a nice little gif there of Prowl. And it, of course it says his name's Prowl, he's an Autobot, he's from the Origin Universe of Animated. He's, his function is as a spy, and his signature, his signature weapon is a pair of shurikens that can slice through basically any known substance or object. And then his bio says that Prowl is a trained cyber ninja, prefers to work alone, he has an appreciation for Earth's environment, feels connected with his natural surroundings. His strength is a 6, while his intelligence is a 9, speed is an 8, and his firepower is a 6. So not bad stuff from Prowl. Wait, where is it? Where's the authentic Transformers logo? Uh, where where did it go? AUTHENTIC TRANSFORM! And we've got some nice images right here of the figure, and then we've got EVO FUSION! That basically is just a regular feature on the figure that adds nothing to it whatsoever. You know, the standard stuff. And that is basically it for the packaging. Prowlier comes with a pair of ninja stars, or shurikens, and these things are, these things are kind of cool. They've got three blades and you little rotate the little thing and the blades all eject out like that. That's pretty cool. These things are so thick. Damn, boy! That they're basically just hamburgers at this point. Don't you know where that animal flesh comes from? No, but I know where it's going. <coughs> Now, thankfully, when the blades are out, they do tend to be locked in and everything, but there are times where they do want to just collapse in on themselves, so just be aware of that. Even though it is possible to get him to hold both of the shurikens in his hands, specifically, his left hand is sculpted so that he can specifically hold one of the blades, while his right hand has a 5mm port. Also, when you have the shurikens all collapsed up, you can stick them right here into Prowl's tires on his legs as as the form of weapon storage that has got to be some of the best weapon storage i've ever seen on a transformer in a long time and now taking a look at prowl's head sculpt here i do understand the criticism of the transformers animated you know long gated big chins but honestly it actually translates really well onto this figure especially like even though it is still a little long at least it looks more proportionate in this form and it's more G1ified, but the main thing about it that doesn't really bother me is his the glass on his chest here kind of goes up a little too high. So when you look at him on certain angles, the glass kind of hides some of his chin anyway, so he is still looks pretty proportionate that way, especially when you look at him from the dead front. And of course, talking about the actual design itself, I love the blue eyes right there i like the gold right there the gold accents really bring out a nice it really makes this guy stand out on the shelf or wherever it is you have him he always it looks all bright and vibrant with that nice gold the black is a excellent contrast to that and of course i like the mechanical detail they've added which is always really nice to get because the animated designs are very simplistic in their texturing so it's always nice to get some extra bits of mechanical detailing on these figures, and the Autobot logo looks very nice as well. And also, I'm glad to say that this guy doesn't really have too thin of a waist, like this guy's proportions are actually a lot better for animated Prowl in my opinion. Like, I thought it was kind of weird how skinny this guy looked, but thankfully this guy's bulked up, he looks more proportionate, and, and in my opinion it just overall looks better. And minimal kibble here. Yes, he does have these wings, but Honestly, it doesn't really bug me all that much. I mean, we've had Bumblebee with door wings, so like, why should this be that much of a problem? Going over Prowl's articulation, he does have a ball joint at the head. It does allow for some head pivoting. He can look up very far. 
can't really look down all that much, and then it can look from left to right. His shoulders rotate a full 360. They can, his wings can shift around as well as these handlebars, but that's just for any kind of adjustment. And then his arms can move outward that far, so he can uh, do the T pose on you. He does get a bicep swivel. Just about 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Would have liked it to have bend in a little bit more, but it's it's surfaceable. And then he has no wrist swivel on either hand, but they do move in and out like so. He does get a waist swivel. Now, it can get limited sometimes by this little seat cover, but you can just lift that up, and there you go. Not that big a problem. Hips can rotate up that far, but if you move them outward a little bit more, they can rotate up even farther, and then you can adjust the waist so they you know, look a little bit more streamlined with that. His legs can kick back that far. His legs can move outward very far. He does get a thigh swivel. He does get a bend at the knee, which bends just a little over 90 degrees, but if you utilize that wheel, you can rotate the foot even more, so it kind of gives even more of a knee bend. Does look a little disproportionate, but not that big a problem for me because a disproportionate figure is the least of my problems. The ankle can swivel on the ball joint. It can move up a little bit, move down a little bit, and then it does also allow for a very slight ankle pivot that's kind of limited, but it is perfectly surfaceable, just like, the, just like the elbow. Almost forgot to mention this. If you also utilize the transformation joint, it will allow him for a very slight ab crunch in there. So yeah, I'd say his posability is very ninja-like. Now, I don't have any other uh, Transformers animated figures to really compare this guy to, so just bear with me here. Here he is with my only G1-ish version of Prowl, the Siege Deluxe Class Prowl. You know, since the other one is kind of a problem to get. And then here he is with the Voyager Class Prime Universe Bulkhead. Again, even though this is the Prime Universe version, him and Bulkhead technically were still teammates in Transformers Animated, so here's just a comparison between these two. Anyway, that's basically it for comparisons, so let's just get right on in to this guy's transformation. Look at Prowl in his motorcycle mode. The more I think about it, I actually haven't really taken a look at a lot of motorcycle figures on this channel, but one thing that I do have a complaint about is I don't like how this window is a little too transparent and you can see his face right through there. I just wish they did a better way at adjusting his head so it wouldn't be as visible, but it's not too big of an issue. And again, I do like the gold and the Autobot logo. It really is highlighted here in the motorcycle mode. And overall, I think it's not a bad size for a motorcycle either. And I do like the handlebars right here. It's got the little gas cap right there. The seat definitely brings it together along with these little lights back here. And sadly, the arms on my copy don't want to tab together. So I've got this little seam mark that really... It does bug me just a little bit. No, it, it bugs me a lot. It bugs me a lot. But overall, again, I like the gold highlights and everything, and he actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, most motorcycle figures sometimes look like a, a scrunched up person, but surprisingly, this guy doesn't really look like that. Also, he does have a kickstand, as you can see, and it is adjustable right down there. The only thing is, sometimes it don't want to work. That's two things in this house that won't work. Sometimes you just gotta balance it properly, and there you go. But, like I said, he will eventually just fall over on you. So you might as well just give up. Also, by the way, one word of warning with the little wheels here and the storage of the shurikens. Make sure you have them stored like this, where the blades are going along with the swooping of the wheel, because if you have them rotating like this, then the blades are moving with the tire, where if you have him trying to go backwards, the blade can sometimes run into the bit right there, as you can see. So just be aware of that when it comes to moving this guy around on the ground. Some people could complain here that Prowl doesn't turn into his uh, traditional car mode, but here's the thing, I don't care. And then here he is with his old teammate Bulkhead from the Wreck and Rule Collection version. So anyway, that is it for the comparisons. And that is basically it for my review on the Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Prowl. 
well, the animated universe one. In his robot mode, he always has the opportunity to be in so many ninja poses and just all kinds of different stuff. And again, I love the proportions on him. The proportions look better, I think, than the animated version. It makes him look like an actual robot more than a person that's colored like a robot. I do have to admit, though, as much as I like Prowl's alternate mode, there's not really any way to display it in a cool way other than just making it sit there. For, but for me, I think it's mostly because I'm a little mad that his arms won't connect together fully in motorcycle mode. But honestly, I'm really just reaching for complaints at this point. So yeah, if I had to give this guy a rating, i give him a very solid 8 out of 10. Again, he may not be the, the everyone's cup of tea for what version of Prowl this is. But for everyone who is a Transformers animated fan, I feel like won't be disappointed in this figure. So... Yes, that is basically it for this review. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a like on the video, comment down below what you guys think, subscribe to the channel for more Transformers and action figure videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.